Hey there, Susie Nelson here with Affiliate Marketing Informant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Vidnami video in Recreate. Now, if you haven't heard by now, Vidnami is gone, and all former Vidnami lovers are very sad and heartbroken. So we've been in search of a good Vidnami alternative, and this is one we checked out. If this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. We'll be more than happy to help you out as soon as we can. You can try this Vidnami alternative out for free to see if it works for you. Click the link in the description below to start making Vidnami-like videos with Recreate. Okay, so this is how this video is going to be structured. First, I'm going to talk about Recreate features and how they stack up to Vidnami, highlighting the features that you want if you are a former Vidnami user. Second, Kim is going to show you how she created a video in Vidnami before it went away. And third, I'm going to create the same video in Recreate. So you see the exact same video created in each video maker and see why Recreate is an okay Vidnami alternative right now. And heads up, before we even get into this video, I just want to give you a full warning. There is no exact replacement for Vidnami. Unfortunately, there is no one product that does exactly everything Vidnami did as well as it did it. Now, let's talk about the features that Recreate does have. Recreate is an AI video maker, so therefore it does have an auto clip selection. Recreate also has auto voices so that you can choose an auto voice versus using your own. They also have a library of background music that you can add to your video just like Vidnami. They support different video formats like horizontal, vertical, or even the square format just like Vidnami. They do support the 1080p export option. This is going to be a business plan feature. The business plan will also offer you brand customization options, which will allow you to add things like your logo and colors. You can upload your own media, voiceovers, and music, and the Recreate plans do come with unlimited videos. Now, Recreate does not have all of the features that you are used to in Vidnami, and keep watching because I'm actually going to call those out as I create the Vidnami-like video inside of Recreate. All right, we're going to do the Recreate versus Vidnami demo comparison. Now we're going to start with Kim making the video inside of Vidnami. If you don't want to see this, then refer to the chapters in the description below, and you can skip forward to where I make this exact same video inside of Recreate. But we really want you to be able to see step by step how Vidnami and Recreate compare and how they don't. Take it away, Kim. In Vidnami, I'm going to come to the create a new video option, and then I'm going to go through Vidnami's process to actually create a really quick and easy video. So I'm just going to leave it on the content video format template, which is what you choose at first. I'm going to choose the cool blue template. Then I'm going to paste a script in here. And if you want the script to test out, then definitely download my user guide. I've actually got it linked in there for you to give you a really easy and quick script that you can use to save yourself time. Now that I've pasted my script, now we're going to go to the scenes. And this is where Vidnami does its AI and its auto clip generation, where it automatically creates a video for us, right? And this is going to be where you actually enhance or edit each scene as you want. So some of the popular options are to come here and actually use these words that are auto populated for you to find different images that you can actually use. And at any point, you can choose any of these images to use in this scene instead of what it auto populates. Then you scroll down and check the scenes, right? And at any point, you can come in here and you can edit words and you can edit the highlighting as well. Your scene options allow you to do some popular things like hiding the text, bolding and underlining the different parts of your captions, moving the caption to different positions, adjusting the background, and easily linking the previous scene using the same media layout in motion. And if you decide you don't like the screen, you can delete. We're going to say that it's good as is, and we're going to move on to the voice. In this case, we're going to keep things simple and just use one of these auto voices. But in many cases, affiliate marketers and online marketers that use Vidnami and even creative agencies like to either record their own voice track or upload a voice track for the video. We're going to go with Kate. Now we're going to preview our video. And depending on how long the video is, this particular step in the preview part can take a few minutes. So we will wait patiently as Vidnami does its thing. Now that the preview is generated, we can celebrate different background music. You can also upload your own music, as you know. And then if you come to options, this is where you have some additional options to adjust the music volume the track volume, and even the voice track speed. Hit preview again since I made some adjustments. 
and it's going to create another video preview for me. You can come down here and actually play the video, and then when it looks good, you continue, which is going to, in which Vidnami will actually create and generate your video. And this is an option that most of us use. We actually like to come in here and change the resolution to full HD ADP, which does take slower times to generate, larger file sizes, but higher quality videos. Then we generate video and Vidnami does its thing once again. So this is going to be the process of creating a video in Vidnami. And one of the reasons why it was such a favorite because you really could spend very little time creating pretty high quality videos with minimal work. Now Vidnami has finished actually creating my video. I'm gonna choose download to download it to my desktop. Then I'm going to open it and play you the example. Thanks, Kim. Now, because we want you to really be able to see how Vidnami stacks up to recreate, we're going to go straight into recreate and create this exact same video. Now, to keep it simple, I am going to do the exact same steps that Kim just did in Vidnami. First, you're going to sign in, and then you're going to choose the AI text to video option. Next, you choose your template. This looks the closest. The music does start to play, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Here it tells us the format is 16 by 9. They tell us what this is suitable for, and we are going to use this template. You have the option to enter an article URL or paste in a script. We're going to use this script that Kim provided for us, just like she used in Vidnami. Don't forget, you can grab this script just to use for quick testing in the description below. We're going to paste that in and extract. This is showing you the words that are going to be highlighted on your screen. So go through here and make sure that the words you want highlighted are. And if they're not, you can just highlight the one you want and click the highlighter and it will switch it over for you. You could do multiple words at a time if you like. It is missing some punctuation that was in the script, so I'll add that back in. And this sentence is actually supposed to be up above. So we'll move that as well. So I took a few seconds and went through here, made sure all of this was right, made sure my sentences were gonna be where I want them. Once you've got that done, you'll click proceed. And this is where AI takes over and will generate your scenes. So here we go. It auto-generated a video choosing its own images for each scene. So this is similar to Vidnami, but not exact. If at this point you wanted to change your format, you could do it on the top left. This is where you have the resolution that you could change to 1080p if you have the business plan. Over on the left, if we go to text, you could add any of these options to the selected scene, but you do wanna make sure that this blue box is around the scene you are working on. You're supposed to be able to change the text within each scene as well. However, the highlighting option is not available, nor is the background color. They are constantly making updates to this, so I'm sure that will be fixed soon. If you want to take the text away, which was a popular feature in Vidnami, you can position to move it backwards and then pull it forwards if you want to keep it. You can also just delete this text box if you like. Initially, when you come in, each individual scene is going to be five seconds long until you adjust it. You can do that directly from here. Look on the bottom right of the time bar. As I increase or decrease, it does add, and each scene gives you five seconds until you adjust it. You can play the scene from here as well, just to see what it's gonna look like. A feature that Recreate has that Vidnami didn't is scene transitions. You can also delete each individual scene or add a scene. If at any point you want to preview this video, you can export. You can play it directly from here. If you're happy with it, you could download it, but we're not done, so I'm gonna close this out. Another difference with Vidnami and Recreate is gonna be the auto clip selection. They are currently pulling their pictures from Pexels, Pixabay, and Unsplash. They do have on their roadmap for quarter three and four to integrate Shutterstock, Getty Images, and Storyblocks. So those will be coming soon. You can choose to look at video clips, or images, or both. Vidnami gave us highlighted words that tried to match the videos with what it was searching, and you do not get that in Recreate. You will have to come in and type in a keyword to search for. If we look at this video, 
that has 2021 highlighted. Let's play it. I notice that the highlighting goes away while the video is playing and then comes back when it's done. We'll take a look and see if that shows in the example. Also, I don't like this for the sentence. So let's change this. Make sure the blue is around and this is what you've selected. Go to media. We're gonna look for something with 2021 in it and hit enter. Here the videos come up and you can preview them. This is drag and drop. You would drag it over. It asks if you would like to add a new layer or replace. We'll replace it. And let's preview. So the highlighting went away again, but I do like that video better. We'll take a look at another one. Highlight the video. Immediately on the left, your transformation, you can fill the slide or fit the slide if your video isn't quite filling it up. You can change the speed and you can position it forward or backward. I entered my keyword, let's search. So we'll come through and look at some of these beach photos. And as you scroll, there is a little bit of a lag with the videos. So you will have to have some patience in this particular section. I didn't see any I liked, so let's try again. So this one's kind of cool. They're putting together some drinks. Looks like a nice afternoon lemonade type situation. So we'll move that over. We want to replace the layer, yes. So that just kind of disappeared. Let's see if we delete the scene. Okay, so it's not behind it. All right, let's check media and search again. So I moved this one over. It showed up on top of my text. So we'll highlight that and go to position and just send it backwards and our text pops up. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to adjust the scene images. They do have an element section on the left where you can add shapes, icons, or stickers. This was not available in Vidnami. Our next to last section is gonna be audio. When we chose the template back at the beginning, this is the song that was playing. If you do not want the song to play through your whole video, you can mute it. Or if you wanna hear the song, you can press play. You also have the option to search by category, and they do seem to have quite a bit of background music for you to choose from. There's a sync audio option where you can upload your audio. It will delete all existing audios from your timeline, so make sure that's what you want to do. The one thing we haven't talked about yet is voices. That is actually gonna be this little microphone for each scene. Now let's go back up to the top, and we'll start with the first scene. So you'll click the microphone, you can record your voice. This is where you would do a voice recording if you wanted to do that yourself. This will be for each scene, so it is going to take time. If we look at the text to speech option, we do have volume, pitch, speed, style, and pause. There are three English US voices available on the free plan. And if we check out the English British, there's two available there as well. If you wanna hear the voice, you can just click the play sign. If you find that a computer voice is sounding a little bit too robotic for you, you can come in and adjust the speed. You want it to be somewhere between 105 and 110. And if you notice, this stopped, even though it wasn't where I wanted it, and this has popped up. So this is a little quirk I found in this program. So we want this to be 110 is good. And you want the words to be between these two symbols. So we're gonna erase the first mistake I made. And then we're gonna take the text, which did auto-populate, and move it in between the symbols. Once you have this done, you click Create. Then we'll play it. Once you're happy with the way that sounds, you click Apply. Now it's green down here, and you can see exactly how long your scene is. You can also move the audio to the back part of the scene versus the front part or directly in the middle. And if you would like to decrease your scene time, you can do that here. You will need to do this for each individual video as there is no audio in there until you put it there. If you don't put audio in, the song that was playing at the beginning will play for that scene. So this does seem to be a bit time consuming and it is all I have left to do. So I'm gonna pause this video and finish that up, and I'm gonna bring you guys back right before I export it so we can see the rest of it. 
Now I'm done making adjustments and we'll export it. This is going to take a minute. And you can see it's going to have a watermark like Vidnami did, but with the business plan, you can remove that. Now that it's rendered the video, we'll download it. And now I'll play it. So you can see how Recreate creates a very similar video, but not exact. You want to be a successful affiliate marketer. If you guys are interested in seeing these videos side by side, we have posted them on our YouTube channel, and I will include them in the links below in the description. So you can go watch the full videos from Recreate versus the full Vidnami video example. Now don't forget, Recreate does not have all of the features that Vidnami did. An additional missing feature is going to be the merge and split scenes. You cannot do that in Recreate. The only option is to actually add or insert a scene, but you cannot merge them together. It is a bit time consuming to come in here and to render a text to speech for each individual scene. And choosing between the media clips can sometimes be a little bit time consuming as well. So just make sure you have patience when you come in here and they will be making updates. The last difference I'm going to talk about is Recreate's pricing plan. With Vidnami, you had one monthly plan at one price for all features. In Recreate's case, you actually have multiple plans. They do change whether you're paying yearly or monthly, so that's something to note. And the plans you have to choose between besides the free plan are the individual plan and the business plan. In order to get the comparable features that you're used to in Vidnami, you're going to want to choose the business plan. So if you think Recreate is right for you, be sure to head down to the description and check it out using our link below where you can sign up for the free plan to try it out and see if you like it. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. We really appreciate your support and keep watching our channel for additional Vidnami alternatives as we take the time to research them and compare them to Vidnami to try and find the best alternative for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.